Well, when it comes to criticism, few federal agencies have gotten more of it in recent years than the EPA. Regulations that were once welcomed are now criticized as misguided federal overreach. That of an agency that at first was welcomed by both Republicans and Democrats alike. The test is made with the plane flying across the center of the line of checkpoints at a predetermined speed. The year 1962, and Rachel Carson publishes her book, Silent Spring, addressing the hazards of DDT and other pesticides, focusing attention on the harm some chemicals may have on the environment. Silent Spring and the media attention surrounding it push government to take action. Presidents began adding environmental issues to speeches in legislative programs. Shall we surrender to our surroundings? Or shall we make our peace with nature? With Richard Nixon in his second year of presidency, creating the Environmental Protection Agency, better known as the EPA. In the agency's early years, among many regulations, the EPA banned DDT, established a Clean Water Act, and began phasing out leaded gasoline, improving our water and the air we breathe. Yet the agency is often shrouded in controversy, especially in more recent years. Oklahoma and other states battle with the EPA over proposed clean air rules. And this June, the EPA proposed what has been called its most ambitious air regulation yet, calling for a 30% decrease of power plant emissions by 2030, a ruling that has Oklahoma, along with eight other states, suing the EPA over the new rules. And while such mandates make their way through the courts, Oklahoma continues to curb its energy use and greenhouse gas emissions. The American Wind Energy Association reports that last year, more than 14% of Oklahoma's energy was provided by wind power. And just this February, the EPA recognized Edmond as a leading green power community. So while federal and state officials may still be at odds over how much is too much protection, the air we breathe and the water we drink is the cleanest it has been in years.